Hi everyone, my name is Jenny and I have emetophobia and this is my emetophobia diary of all the weeks that I am completing the Thrive program and uh, this week I've been going through chapters 1 and 2 and here is my Thrive book and um, I live in Thailand and uh, I'll just tell you a little bit about how I uh, got in touch with Rob um, I just sent him an email and he sent me the most quickest response ever he was super nice just really touched my heart just how kind he is and how just caring he is and um, I said that I wanted to work with a consultant so I've been in touch with um, my consultant Lucy and we're working through the program together so I thought I'd just share a little bit about what I've been doing for the first week and my thoughts on it um, now before starting this program obviously um, I was a little bit pessimistic about it. I didn't really think that this just one book was going to work, it was going to help, but I was trying to be as optimistic as I could be and Lucy really helped a lot with reinforcing that for me. Um, the first chapter is belief systems and working through belief systems is just basically um, a very easy to read chapter um, a very funny chapter because actually all of the book is really funny um, because Rob just just writes it just very direct and easy to understand and it's really enjoyable to read. So the first chapter um, about belief systems is just about how we believe a certain thing, how we've grown um, up and the belief systems that we have are things that we've kind of reinforced upon ourselves. So for example some of the belief systems that I have. Uh, the limiting beliefs, I should say, and the, the belief system that I've built for myself is things like I'm not going to succeed in beating this, I'll never be able to go back to the UK um, on the plane, I won't be able to have friends socially because I'm socially awkward. So those are the limiting beliefs. Any limiting belief is something that um, doesn't help you think that you can achieve the things that you want to achieve. So. Um, with this, it just kind of explains how you build up this belief system, how you're kind of like a wall and each brick is the, the limiting belief that you have. And because of all these things um, that have been built up into kind of a habitual personality, I like to call it, it's just something that you kind of integrated into your personality, it's going to be very hard to, um, not impossible, but it's just going to be quite hard to... Um, slowly change all of those. So that's what we just read um, and of course Rob said that it is going to be um, easy uh, to change it, it's just that um, because we've been doing it for so long it will take um, lots of effort which I'm prepared to do. So I think another thing that's really important about this chapter is the locus of control quiz. So here's the quiz, it's 30 questions and you can see mine is just like full of writing and highlighting so it's out of 30 and it just tells you whether or not um, you have an external locus or an internal locus uh, external is more like you feel you're powerless and not very in control but internal means that you feel like you know what you're doing and you're in control of everything so obviously I have an external locus of control and um, I got a very high score in the locus of control quiz and I've just been going back and trying to change each one. So what I've been doing is um, I bought myself some um, sticky notepad things, as you can see there's already two um, on the wall there and I've just written down um, all of the things that I'm going to change um, in the locus of control quiz to change to be more internal. So that's what I'm doing and I'm going to see how it goes. So far I've changed five already, um, but hopefully I want to change more as the course goes on. Now in each and every single chapter there's going to be a kind of uh, summary and um, it's really good to, to read that and what I always do is read that um, all the time just to kind of summarise the points in my head and really get them in there so that I understand them. So chapter 2 talks about cognition and what's really really good about this and something that um, I didn't notice before was that um, it talks about having an inner voice or self-talk and what this is is sometimes when I'm having limiting beliefs I do realise that there is like a voice in my head telling me to kind of do things to avoid a situation or kind of 
repaying the safety seeking habits that um, I would do to avoid um, being sick. So um, this chapter really helps explain what that is and how to kind of differentiate it, whether it's a good voice or if it's a bad voice. And um, what I really like is that um, it kind of proves to you that uh, when you have that voice in your head and you think to yourself that, you know, it's protecting you or you're kind of um, doing the things that you think you are doing because your inner voice is telling you to do that to protect you, it's kind of not the best way to go around it and uh, this chapter proves that you know what you really think, how you really, how you really imagine yourself doing something, really affects um, affects uh, everything. It affects everything um, that you do to try to help yourself overcome the metaphobia. So this is a really good chapter. Um, I'm recognizing my inner voice more. And um, another really good thing is that it uh, explains to you uh, how you should uh, go about. Um, changing this inner voice to be something more positive and um, now in the second chapter it's starting to have the summary at the end of the chapter but there'll also be an action for you to do which is like a kind of like an activity that you have to do every day to try to enforce the, the good things and the positive things um, to help you uh, cure your metaphobia. I actually do have to go to the cinema in, in a couple of days so um, I will tell you about that in the next vlog and um, hopefully I can try to challenge this inner voice and uh, see if I can change it to be a more helpful thing and try to visualise a more helpful um, and more incredible um, uh, experience than what I think is going to happen. So that's been the first two chapters and I'm really looking forward to uh, uh, next week where I can uh, do the next three chapters and I'll come tell you about it. At the moment my thoughts are still kind of wary. I don't really know how to get rid of a lot of these things um, but I'm being positive and I'm going to try it out and see what happens. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.